So by this point I'm sure that most people have heard about the iShow speed situation. It is something that happened last week and I held off on speaking about it just because I wanted to see the aftermath and what was actually going to happen and since then there has been a few interesting developments when it comes to this whole situation. Now for those who might not be aware of the situation, iShow speed is quite a popular content creator on YouTube. In fact right now he might be the largest live streamer on the platform and he decided to also get involved in this entire crypto thing and unfortunately i have to say whenever you see an online creator pushing crypto it is almost always some type of scam or just a very bad investment and i show speed seemed to have stepped in that same trap he took a sponsorship from a crypto company that is called paradox metaverse and a lot of people feel like what this company is doing is not really above board now Pretty much what Paradox Metaverse is doing is they develop the game that they call an open world game that is built on the blockchain and it's pretty much your typical pay to earn system that they have decided to implement. These guys are making a lot of crazy claims as people usually do when it comes to cryptocurrencies. They say they can 10x or even 100x your money and at the end of the day those type of returns are obviously just not possible. So a lot of people are rightfully drawing the conclusion that it's either a scam or they are just over promising it's an outright lie or it is some level of Ponzi scheme. Now obviously all of that is alleged and we don't know the real truth but I also think that most people who do their own research will probably draw a similar conclusion. Now I show speed decided to advertise all of this on his stream and people almost immediately became very irritated by this a lot of his fans started to immediately spam that this is a scam and the stream did not go very well number one they promised to have cristiano ronaldo appear on the stream if people were to follow the i think it was an instagram account or the official webpage. people ended up following and signing up and they managed to get the mark and then an impersonator for cristiano ronaldo came out and as you can imagine the fans was not too pleased about this now one of the people that did very quickly caught wind of this entire cryptocurrency project was CoffeeZilla. CoffeeZilla's entire content revolves around exposing crypto projects and confronting alleged scammers and in my opinion he has been quite good at accomplishing that goal and when he decided to confront the two people who is behind this cryptocurrency advertisement it did not go very well for them. Now I'm not gonna play any of the interview that CoffeeZilla did with these two founders of the company instead i'm just gonna link to it down below i don't want to take away from his content but a few very interesting things did definitely come from this confrontation now coffeezilla when he was doing his interview with the two founders of the company pretty much point blank told them that i think what you guys are offering in terms of pay to earn is a scam and i think that it is based on ponzonomics and a lot of people seems to be sharing that sentiment although you obviously don't have the evidence to say that it's going Going to be a rug bull or that it's going to be a pump and dump a lot of people feel like it's just a lot of over promises and it is definitely consistent with a pyramid scheme or with a ponzi scheme now it should be worth noted that obviously the founders were very quick to dismiss that idea and they did say that everything was above board but i'll let you guys decide for yourself whether you believe that or not coffeezilla also said that you shouldn't be advertising a 10x to 100x return on your investment those type of returns is just simply not possible so if you're going to offer it a lot of people are going to think that things are not above board it is a super irresponsible thing to do and it kind of just feels like it is the definition of a get rich quick scheme you dump your money into something and then you get a 100x return obviously those type of returns is just not possible now i show speed after the whole advertisement that he did with the company did decide to come out with an apology a lot of people still felt like the apology kind of felt short he simply said that he does a lot of stuff for his community and that he made a mistake he said that he was not that smart but he is going to get smarter as time goes on but he also just wants to make sure that his community knows that he only made a mistake and that he never 
wants to scam anybody. Now, I don't know whether or not that is the truth or not. One thing that everybody has been pointing out is the fact that he is only 17, but even at that age, you still have the responsibility to make sure that what you push out to your audience is above board. Even if he is 17, there is certain amounts of responsibility that falls on you, especially if you have a large audience like he does. When you are as big as he is, you cannot afford to make these type of mistakes. And when there are these type of mistakes, there are going to be consequences. Now, I don't think anybody is calling for his cancellation, but he does need to make sure that he is a lot more responsible going forward because you're going to lose the trust of your audience and that's unfortunately the price that he's gonna have to pay. When you push out things that is not trustworthy and when the community feels like they can no longer take your word and that you are trying to take advantage of them, eventually you are going to lose a certain portion of your people. And it might not happen overnight, but it's definitely going to happen over time if you insist on doing these type of things on a continuous basis. Yes, he is still young, but this type of behavior still needs to be checked even if you are young. The truth is that a shitty child turns into a shitty teenager that turns into a shitty adult. So if you don't take action against these type of behaviors, unfortunately it could also get worse as time goes on. When it comes to our show speed, as I've said, he offered an apology. I hope that he's sincere in his apology and hopefully going forward things like this is not going to happen. I do hope that he learned his lesson, but only time will tell.